Hello YouTube, and welcome to part 8 of The Witcher, all the way into part 8, still haven't really made any progress I don't think. Anyway, as promised, I managed to salvage all of the gear, all the components to make this gear anyway, I did have to buy the armour, the wire, sorry. Uh, but anyway, with 32 gold we're going to get a huge increase in stuff, I believe. So, let's do this, there we go. Successfully created Warrior's Leather Jacket. Uh, so that'll do for now. So long. So let's see what else it is that we can do. Let's make sure that we are wearing it. Yes, we are. Okay, it didn't change how we look at all, but that's all right. Um, <clears throat> okay, so quests, secondary quests, collect them all. No, the Beast of the White Orchard is suggested level three. Lilac and gooseberries. Why is that not finished? Ah, complete the Griffin contract, which is this one. But if I remember correctly, there was another one that we could pick up just around here somewhere. So, where's the horse? Uh, is it, where else was it? Let's have a quick look at the map. Ah, it's gone. Did we pick it up already? Oh, it's there. It's there, look. Quest available. So, let's get the horse back, maybe. Okay, he's over there anyway, we can go to him, I suppose. He's gonna be lazy. Apparently, a very temperamental horse. Still, we did call him Roach, I guess. So, what can you expect? So, let's head on over and try and do that, get pick that quest up and see what that quest has Move to offer it. for us. Let's not barge into this guy. And canter on along. It is getting late as well, but I don't think that matters too much. I'm just going to place a marker on this, otherwise it might cause us all kinds of end now. endless Whoa. problems, more than likely. So let's see how it's going. Really enjoying this game. If you haven't done it yet, I recommend give it a try. It, it, it feels wonderful. It really does. It feels incredibly nice. Uh, let's hop off here. Leave the horsey out there. Talk to old woman. Lost your key, ma'am? No, not me key. Me pan. It always sat there empty. This hurt. That is. Till the night afore the battle. A man arrived. Walked right in like for his own. He was standing at the window. Peering at the goings on. He must have been. Cause next I knew, there he was, coming my way. I grabbed me pan for protection, see? But he just asks all polite, Gran, got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. Staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. I was right baffled for what's he doing, frying in the dark. But I got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. Uh, not entirely sure what to make of this one, but I guess it was a truly fascinating, fascinating tale. story. Any chance you're nearing the end? A four door. Another rode up to the hut, but come on, only the first fella left, locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him, and me pan. Twere old, black with soot, not worth much, I suppose, but I've no other. Will you help me, dearie, bring an old widow or pan? I could never break down that door myself, and in truth, I'm a fear to go in any road. Such a stench wafting out. Methinks the other fellow. Well, that he's lying there. Yeah. Never yeah. taken on a pan contract. Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here, just in case. Okay. A frying pan, spick and span. Hut's door won't open. Use your witcher senses to see if there's anything you can do. 
Destroying objects. Some objects can be destroyed. Such objects are marked with the ignis. Oh no. Sorry, the arad. Arad. Arad sign. You can also try hacking at them with your sword, but no, they're not on. Not everything can be destroyed in this manner. Another option is to toss a grape shot bomb at the object. Be careful not to get hurt by the explosion. Let's, let's have a go with the ard sign first. There it is. So. Oops! Roach! Look around inside the hut for a frying pan. Use your witcher senses. Sure thing. That's another smoking pipe. Dark still. Oh, we've got some orins. Or Oreos, maybe. I don't know exactly. Uh, oh, there's something that can be destroyed there by the looks of it. At least that's what it looks like. But I'm not. Oh, does that mean it could, maybe that means it can be set on fire? Maybe that's matches or something. Some coal and some gold hide. That corpse explains the stench. Ooh, a new weapon. Although it might not be any good. Ha <laughs> ha! Blunt cro oh, crossbow bolts. Yep, yeah, that's fine though. But starting to get the diagrams now, which is interesting. Alchemist powder. Let's have a check out here. Cracked monocle. Silver. Interesting. Silver. What's that, dearie? Nothing. Nothing. We're just gonna keep that, are we? His throat. He was garroted. And some old scars. Kind of soldier might have. But what? His throat. No, oh, no, we don't he need was to do garroted. that. He garroted. And some old scars. Kind of soldier might have. Found the pan, have you? Still looking, love. Don't worry. Okay, there's a kitchen here. Oh, there's the pan, obviously. Documents almost entirely burnt. A few pieces still legible. Found the pan, have you? Yeah, oh, all right, all right. The priceless frying pan. Hmm, scrubbed clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. Hmm. Found the pan, have you? Yes. Oh, very nice. So can I do something with that thing? No. Okay, we'll just keep turning that on and off again. Uh, anything else? Why is it suggesting that I? There's something that can be done. Anyway, never fear. Okay, I think we've got everything out of here. Let's just go in and give the old deer a pan back. It was a interesting side quest, I suppose. Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this sun if I wanted. But them years are past. It was the soot the man needed. He scraped it off to make ink. Must have had an urgent letter to write. Urgently burned some other documents too. And... And the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the North Guardians. Hang about! You've earned a token of thanks. Hmm. Fry up a nice white fish for some. Okay. Come on out of the water, Roach. Just get off your get out of your bath. Okay. Not so fast. Are there any other quests that we can do? This is the beast of ask the hunter where he found the bodies. No, but there are some question marks that we can go and investigate, I suppose. So let's head back into town. And then quick travel. I'll do some meditation as well, I would think. Get the night over and done with. It's 20 past one already, I suppose. But still. <clears throat> ah, let's let's go through this night. Let's see what the night time brings. Let's see if it brings anything. Maybe I'm being completely cautious with absolutely nothing to worry about, particularly. Uh, okay, so we want to be going to 
Can I just click to fast travel? Oh, maybe I can. Let me see if I can fast travel here. Cannot, you must find a fast travel signpost. Okay. So we need to go like this. Have to be at a fast travel signpost to fast travel. Makes sense, I suppose. I'll pass that blacksmith again. Don't need him yet. Apparently that was a puddle. Take it easy. Good. Okay. Right, where should we head down to? We could head down to the ransacked village and then see what's going on here, I guess. Put a marker there. No, press E, fast travel there. Just to see what happens, really. Get old, get old Roach back, here he comes. Not a bite. He's a very well behaved horse, I can't deny him that. Oh, and it's become morning by fast travelling, apparently that has used up time. Uh, so, that's alright. Oh, there's some stuff to kill down there. How exactly do we get down there though, without just jumping off the edge? Is there a way? Slow now. Can you see this on the map somewhere? And maybe we have to go all the way up there and then come back down round, I guess? Come back down round. There you go. Some interesting theory. There appears to be a lot of action going on there, so... I'd have to think it's somewhat worth exploring. Even if it's just a little bit. We'll give it a while anyhow. Might die, might be the end of us. Uh, these are the dead bodies where we arrived in. Uh, yeah, this looks like a good way down. Uh, they look like drowners. So, it's guarded treasure. Okay, we want the fire one, Igni. the attention of them. Silver sword. I believe. Dodge that bullet. Stop missing. Come on. That's it. It's got to be the guarded treasure. It's got to be ours now, surely. Let's see what horrible things we can get from here. Brown of brains. Ew. Okay. Oh, hunting boots. A Dorian sword. I don't know what these torn out pages are for, but we won't complain. String, wolf liver, diagram. Uh, Chidarian Games. I don't know, what, I've no idea what that is. Anything worth looking at here? No, not particularly. Okay, that was nice and easy. Not too difficult. So we can go and check out a couple more of those, I reckon. We'll just mop up some loose edges. Let's see what else we've got nearby here. And the next nearest one seems to be... Ooh, oh, that's a bridge. But we can pop there next, I reckon. It's probably a good place to go. Do this, get some experience for fighting. Slow. How are we doing experience-wise? Oh! 14 experience to level 2. Are these better than the ones that I have? Yeah, I think they are. So let's equip them. Oh. 
It gives us a lot more armor, but nothing else. But that's alright. Oh, these they changed the look slightly too, by the looks of it. What about this sword? A magical steel sword. Yeah, that is better. What's this one? Common steel sword. Alright, DPS steel sword, 56. Yeah, finally got a bit of an upgrade there. That's awesome. Always nice when you get upgrades. So let's head on over to the next one. Can I eat while I'm riding? Oh, I can. Well, the raw meat's not good. We'll have to find out how we cook that, or if we cook that, or what the deal is. But we might as well go and clear up this map somewhat. Get these early points done so that we don't have to come all this way back for little benefit. Uh, and who knows what else? Oh. Okay, so apparently we need to go up there. Although... Seems to be a lot of things around there. This is what I call it an abandoned village. So how exactly? Do you think we can get up there? Oh, not that way. That's it, Roach. A lot, a lot of stuff up there. Or at least four or five of them, anyway. Okay, we managed to one-shot stuff on the horse. That's beautiful. Sure, why we're so much better when we are mounted, but still, our horse gets scared pretty quickly. How long am I supposed to get up there? Oh, is that the point of it? Is the point of it supposed to be that it's an unreachable air? Oh. Perhaps from like a long way away then? Maybe I have to go around from like here. And then travel across, maybe? Oh, well, while we're here, let's... Let's check out that one instead then, because this one seems like it's going to be a bit of grief to get to. Did we get any experience just for killing those ho Oh, we did. We got two experience per, per wolf. Still, so close to level two. It's, it's coming up. It's exciting. Oh, we've got more stuff here. Don't let him catch his breath! We'll fail your skin. Come on, kill him! Oh, you witch fucker! Any more? Oh, there's one. Look at the horse combat as well. Slow now. Beautiful. Steel line, small black guy. Is this the? Is this the marker? Is this what we? Nifl Guardian, long swords and florins. Some cotton, some oil, and a rusty sword. Was that, was that it, really? No, that was it. Guarded treasure. Uh, still unsure as to how to get to that one, but let's let's head over to this one. That was a nice, easy one to clean up, though. Still didn't actually level up from that, though, did we? No, we didn't get anything from that. But it seems like these are a nice way to get some extra stuff going on. Uh, can we just head through here or is this a... That's a great big chasm. I don't want to do that. Made the road. Yeah. Go up, I guess. If this bridge is even crossable. Yes, it is. Yeah, I follow this road around. Looks like a good way to go in. And fighting on the horse is so much more powerful. Uh, although your horse does get scared sometimes, so there is always that to consider. Okay, apparently, we need to go this way now. Can we? Slower. Hmm. They didn't make them easy to get to, did they? 
because why would they go down there and then and can get inside there, I guess. So, head on down there, Horsey. I don't know if your horse can actually die, I would imagine not. Or at least not directly. Ah, the horse is really scared of the ghouls. About to kick me off. There we go. Seems to be like two of them left though. Oh uh, hey, level two! <laughs> Okie dokie. Look at that, another person has been killed. So, what is this thing? Then? Ghoul nest. Ought to just destroy it. How do we do that? Fire, maybe? How do you destroy this? Is this the point that we were headed to? Is this what the undiscovered location was? The cool nest. Yeah. Ah, okay, just get up to it. Just try him onto nest. You need a great shot. Salmon. Okay. Oh, we don't have the right bomb. Can we craft it? Oops, that's the wrong button. Alchemy. Alcohol bombs. Grape shot bombs. We need calcium equum and saltpeter. We don't have any of those. We've got loads of celandines, but we still need the saltpeter. Where do you get saltpeter from? Decorations? What's tawny oil? Accelerates stamina regeneration. Swallow accelerates vitality, vitality regeneration. What ingredients is missing? Ah. Dwarven spirit. A cat. Grant sight in total darkness. Okay. Alright, so we can't actually do anything about that right now. Never mind. These things happen, I guess. But we did get level 2. Uh, sorry that you had to get a bit scared there, Roach. It was worth it, I promise you. Come on now. Right, so uh, let's have a look at the character. Uh, do, 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 do. I don't want tutorial, we don't want meditation. Where do we do the skill points? I can't remember how this went now. Just like this, maybe? Oh, it is like this, exactly like this. Uh, okay, let's have a look what else we've got then. I get the feeling that we should focus into it a bit, really. Uh, okay, so this just seems like. Oh, DNA. Ah, oh, there is none. We've unlocked two more things here. Bear school techniques. Each piece of heavy armor increases. Okay, so this is like general. Increases maximum toxicity. We haven't come across that yet. Increases adrenaline generation by 5%. Using signs now generates. If your current stamina level is too low, kind signs can be cast using adrenaline instead. Mm. Increase potion overdose threshold by 1%. No. Oil applied to a blade gives a 3% chance of poisoning the target on each hit. No. Time is while aiming bomb. Okay, we're not, we're not up to bombs yet. Igni. Melt armor. Yeah. Oh, we can just put a flat out in here. Current level, fast attack damage increase by 10% adrenaline point. Yeah, let's just, let's just do this, I guess. Yeah. So that becomes rank two. That seems like a good way of doing things to me. Uh, it makes our standard attack more, more powerful, which is, I'm always, I'm always up for. Uh, so it's coming tonight again, which isn't really a bad thing. Uh, still don't quite know how to get there. Uh, 
where else shall we go? Because you see, it looks like the, the number of quests that we actually have available to us. The next one that we have to do is required or suggested level 3. Let's head to... Let's head all this. Follow this road all the way down. Check out that bridge at the bottom. See what's going on down there. Uh, it's getting dark again, which isn't really a problem. I'm sure there's loads more quests that I just haven't done and I'm avoiding it for absolutely nothing. Um, but better safe than sorry, in my opinion. And I'm loving the, the basic exploration of this game. I don't know if any of you ever played Guild Wars 2. But I loved the idea of having those points purely for the... purely for... Oh, what was that? Just an information point then? Oh no, we haven't reached it yet, okay. Give me up. Uh, the, inf the sort of the viewpoints where you just went there, a small cinematic of the area. Uh, such a fantastic idea, and I do love... In general, I love the idea of... Not so fast, Roach. Just exploring the worlds. Uh, I get the feeling I'm probably going to have to go underneath for this, I guess. Yeah, we'll have to get off and yeah. jump in the water. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, best way into the water. Oh, look, it's just there. The Smuggler's Catch. Wolf Liver and Silver Ore. Dog Tallow. Lesser Glyph of Igni. I'm not sure exactly what we can do with that. Still, free stuff is free stuff. Dwarven spirit, water essence. Oh. Something pushed us over there. Wolf's liver and coal. Silver and got sulfur. Okay. I played that out pretty well. Alright, move out the way. Go on, get out of there. You don't need to hold your sword anymore. Right, let's get the horse back. What else have we got knocking around here? Okay, there's one up there again. Oh, we can head on down to the abandoned village where we fought that ghoul. Uh, let's just keep following this road, I guess. See what see what it brings. So we're going to go back this way. Keep on following this. More, the more free stuff, the better. And we're going to head down to the abandoned village fast travel point um, just maybe crack on with the quest a little bit oh some, what's this what are they drown as it looks like see if we can get a slash off with the sword it's a ghoul oh, look at that straight away he's terrified Why does it always in humongous packs? Oh. Oh, come on, it was like mid swing. Oh, uh oh. Fight these fellows as well now, or no? Area liber liberated, its populace has returned. Okay. Seems like fun, I guess. Bull's blood. So, what does this mean? Any tidings from Vizina? Venom extract. Cool's blood and venom extract. Herbalist. What? What? What are you offering? Got anything interesting? Let's see what he's got. Oh. Manuscript page. Dwarven spirit. Formula for brewing alcohol. Ah! Yeah, and if it's letter, okay, I don't need that anymore. Brother Mason, we've completed those. Silver monocle. 
what happened to all those recipes that we've put? Orans. I thought this was this. Or is this different then? Can be or can be exchanged for crowns. Okay. Oh florins? Okay. So what's this guy offering? Torn out page. Night wreath decoration. Ah, so you can do like tattoos and stuff. Damage dealt is increased when in when vit well, we haven't been at max vitality for quite a long time. Earth elemental decoration increase the witch's resistance to vitality depleting critical effects applied during combat. The resistance level rises the longer the critical effect is applied. Wraith decoration whenever a single hit drains more than a third of vitality, a quench shield is activated. Which protects against the next attack. Oh, this is interesting stuff. Oh, this game is so deep. Dwarven spirit. White gull. Maybe he doesn't seem to want to buy anything from us. Dark steel plate. Okay, that sounds interesting, I suppose. I don't really want to go and sell this stuff to him. Farewell. <laughs> I must remember where this guy is though, because I reckon those sigils are probably worth coming back to get. Oh, it's been over. It's been over half an hour now, guys. Uh, so that's it for this episode. Thanks very much for watching. Please don't forget to let me know if you enjoyed the episode or not, or even if you made it this far. That would be interesting to know. So take it easy and keep smiling. <laughs>